everyone. Thank you so much for joining me in my special box opening. It was so emotional for me. I just couldn't carry on talking to you. I was just had such a lump in my throat because this little boy is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. And, you know, I just... I just am in awe of Alexandra and her work. You know, she says, how do you want them? And, you know, I just let her do it because she knows exactly what I love. And, oh, this little man is just so adorable. He really is. And, yes, he's a forever baby. He's not going anywhere, are you, my little man? <laughs> I've been loving on him so much, just like I did with Beatrix when I first got her. And he is the same size as Beatrix. I find it hard, you know, when they say 17 inch, it's like my other full-bodied boy who was absolutely beautiful, stunning little boy. He was 17 inches. He was a lot bigger than this little one. This little one is more preemie size, the same size as Beatrix. And that was the only reason I didn't keep him because I wanted a baby that was as small as Beatrix. And this little one is perfect. He is just so perfect. And I love his hair. I love his little ginger locks. He reminds me so much of Conrad when Conrad was born. Conrad was a lot bigger than this. He was eight and a half pound, but my goodness, he looks like him. Anyway, let me give you some details of him because I didn't say anything at all, did I? Silly woman, got too emotional. Now, he is... The Andrew Sculpt, there's a girl version, Anneline, and the Andrew Sculpt, and he is from Maisa Said. Maisa Said? I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. And she was moulded, he was moulded and cast by Maria Glover, Grover. I do try and read without my glasses, but anyway, you can see it, I'm sure. But there he is, and that is the sculpt that he is. He's the male version, he's Andrew. And what am I going to call this little boy? Well, my other little man was called Sydney because Sydney is a very, very important name in my family. And I'll tell you why. He was my grandmother's brother and he died in the First World War. He was only 18 and he died in the First World War. And then one of my grand sisters had a little boy and she called him Sydney. And unfortunately, he was killed in the Second World War. So... Neither of them got to get married or, you know, have children or anything like that. So this little man is going to be called Sydney as well, because Sydney is very important to me. But I'm going to call him Sydney Walter. And the reason I'm going to call him Sydney Walter is because Walter was the name of Beatrix Potter's brother. So it links him up with Beatrix. And he was born on the 30th of June at 4.48 p.m. He's 5 pounds 3 inches, 5 pounds 3 ounces and 17 inches. And thank you so much, Alexandra. I can't thank you enough for this beautiful boy. He is just so, so perfect. And I loved everything you sent with him. I mean, it's, it's all absolutely gorgeous. And, oh dear love him so much i took his top off so i could have a little look at his belly button and i'll show you he's got the most adorable little belly button look at that <laughs> look at that little belly button and look at all the lovely veining and everything let me get in a bit closer so that you can see all the lovely veining and everything on his chest 
and of course he's got all his little boy bits which I'm not allowed to show you but look at him so perfect and if I get Beatrix let's move you over oh look at the way he moves so perfect he's so perfect aren't you let's get Beatrix I don't know if I can get them side by side come on sweetheart come and meet your brother <laughs> And here's my Beatrix. And as you can see, <laughs> let's go out a bit so you can see. They are the absolute perfect match for each other. They are both preemie size. I don't know if you can see much there. I will put them on the bed. That might be easier. Let me just pause you right. to get them exactly right but here they are side by side and as you can see their head size is the same and their length is exactly the same i mean beatrix legs are bent up she hasn't got armatures whereas he has but i could bend his legs up more you know or straighten them but yeah they're they're perfect together aren't they and this is what I wanted, brother and sister, absolutely perfect. And, I mean, <laughs> oh, my goodness, look at him. Love him. Thank you so much again, Alexandra. And, oh, I just think you're wonderful. I just don't know how you do it time and time again with these babies. They're just beautiful. And look at his little gums. I don't know if you can see. He's got little gums, little tongue. Oh, my God. He's so gorgeous. So, yeah, there he is. And now you know his name is Sidney Walter. And that he's the Andrew Sculpt by Marissa Said. And he's gorgeous. So, thanks very much for joining me again. And I will be doing a changing video with this little boy very soon. Because he's got some happy mail already from his godmother, Lucy. Mwah! So I'm sure I'll change him into that. So take care and have a good rest of your day. Mwah! Love you ladies and gentlemen.